Hey there, my meaty friends. Oh, I know that we're only four seconds into this video, and so far you've seen 0% meat. That's because I live solely on hot lemon water now. Just kidding, I'm going to be poaching some salmon for salmon cakes. I'm going to go out on a limb right up front and say that these are going to be better than crab cakes. To continue this recipe, you're also going to need some bay leaves, some fresh dill, dried can work too, and like a quarter cup of salt. And finally, a couple cloves of garlic. Once everything is in there and your water has come to a light simmer, it's time for the fish. I'd say use pollock for the best salmon cakes, but today I'll be using salmon instead. Ploop this right into the simmering water and let it cook for about 5 minutes. After that 5 minutes, turn the heat off and let it sit for an additional 5 minutes. And now what we have left is our herbaceous tea. Just strain out the solids, including the salmon, and chug to your heart's desire. I guess if you want the salmon, you could admire how perfectly flaky it is. It's even flakier than some people I know, which is quite a feat. Break this up into a mixing bowl. We're going to be mixing it again, so you don't have to be super meticulous about this part. To that, you're going to want to add one egg, one ounce of pork rinds, about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and two tablespoons of knot mayo. If you're asking what knot mayo is, it's equal parts sour cream and cream cheese. You can also check out the card above. Once it's all in there, give this a spatulating. It should look a little something like this. A f***ing mess. Bring this hot pile of fish batter to the stove where you should have a pan set over medium heat. Add about two tablespoons of butter and let it melt. Go ahead and cut your hands with a little water and grab a water your fish slop. Press this into a patty and place it into the pan. I was able to get about five cakes out of this. Give all of these a nice little flip. They should be beautifully golden brown. If they're not, I don't know what to tell you. Try filling them in with a salmon scented brown marker. Remove this from the pan and plate them up with some icky no-no food. The center of these look fantastic. They also smell amazing. Let's give this a bite. Yep, just as predicted. Better than a crab cake. I may be biased on this because I genuinely enjoy salmon more than crab, but I know we can all agree that they are both better than lobster cakes. 